Hey, what's up guys? Uh, something pretty cool just came in. This is the Wham Bam Flexible Build System for resin printers. You may be used to the flexible build plates for your FDM printers, but I don't think I've seen one for a resin printer before. So this is the Orange 10. Here's the build plate. So what it'll have is a, a magnet that sticks onto here and then it'll have a flexible spring steel build plate that sticks to the magnet. So let's check out what's in this box. This back on top here. See I already opened the package. So, took a quick peek inside so it's not a real unboxing but let's see. That's everything. Okay, let's set this aside. Okay, we've got a little uh, Ziploc packet here. And in here we have, uh, let's say, uh, thank you for purchasing. Okay, a little, nice little card. And here we got some, uh, some Wham Bam stickers. More stickers. We've got a piece of uh, 1805 sandpaper. And we have more thank you, a little what's in the box, and the mounting instructions. Okay, so let's look the rest here. So all that's left should be the actual build plate and the magnetic part. Let's see if I can get this off. I don't have any scissors here. Let's see if I can use the nippers. Nippers do your trick. <laughs> Yeah. And that's just a piece of cardboard. So that aside. So open up this envelope. And that's all there is to it. Now this comes in different sizes. They did not have the one that'll fit my Sonic Mini in stock. Uh, so this one is sized to fit the Orange 10. And it looks like it's exactly the right size. Apart. It's a very strong magnet. So I guess this is our flexible spring steel here. Set that down. Oh, looks like they actually gave me two, which is really cool because then you can take one off and set it aside and then put another one start printing again while you clean up the first one. So that's pretty neat. And of course here we have the magnetic plate. It says wham bam on it. So we'll stick that on there. That's pretty much exactly the right size. So let's get this assembled and we'll try printing on it. Okay, so I've got my build plate here and I'm going to try to get this thing attached and hopefully get it correct because I've only got one shot. So I have cleaned the build plate thoroughly. Uh, it's been you know, scrubbed with alcohol and cleaned real well. So I'm going to take the Plastic uh, paper strip off of here. If I can get it off. Okay, now the instructions I have right here are very clear, so I'm glad that this thing is actually made in Florida, so it's very good English, and it's 
explains everything very clearly. So I got that about an inch off. I'm trying to make sure no, no, no dust or anything gets stuck to it. I'm going to line it up here. Okay, I think that should be good. And pressing it down in the middle, spreading out. Now can I get the paper off? Okay, nope, it's getting moved. All right. Making sure it stays in place. Pressing down in the middle. And slowly peeling. Spreading it out. A little bit more. Ignore my watch beeping. Okay, so that should do it. And it says that we should re let this go overnight before printing once. So let's see how this oh, see how this attaches. Ouch! <laughs> Be careful. It, very strong and catch your fingers. Yeah, and then there's a little lip here you can use to pull it off. So, all right, so we'll let this sit overnight. And yeah, and then it should be good to go. We'll do some printing. 24 hours later. It's now the next day and the print is starting. I should mention that you'll have to adjust your Z height. With some printers you'll have to print a part to attach to your printer and you can find that file on their website. With others, like mine, you only need to re-level the build plate. Time to get the print out. The flexi plate pops right off of the magnet and I'm cleaning it in my container of Simple Green, which I'm using since alcohol is hard to find nowadays. This print is a model a client sent me to print for him. It's an alien head for an action figure. Once I've cleaned off the remaining Simple Green with some water and dried the print, I can put it in my curing oven with the flexi plate still attached. 20 minutes later. After it's done curing, I can take it out. And flex the build plate. Looks like it pops right off with no trouble. By the way, now is a good time to say thank you to Wham Bam for sending this out to review. Okay, so as you saw, I got this off of there nicely. It came off very easily. And then I removed the supports. And I still have to do a little bit of cleanup on here. But it came off very well, and it looks great. It was very easy to use. And then while it was curing, I was able to switch out to another one. This is the uh, Eastman Captain America. And he came out looking great. Uh, I wanted to do one that was not using supports. It was you know, directly on the plate. So let's see how this comes off. Let's bend the flexi plate here. And yeah, it just pops right off. I did get a little bit of resin residue on here that I'll have to clean off. So that's a good thought, is that you should make sure that you clean this off thoroughly before you stick the whole thing in the UV. 
This one was actually cured out in the sun and it came out very nicely. What I do like is you get a real nice smooth shiny finish on that bottom. Uh, not that anyone's ever going to see the bottom when it's sitting on the table or wherever. But yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, this model is supposed to print with no supports, but I decided to put a few in just in case. I was a little bit nervous about some of these places. But yeah, that looks really nice. And the Wham Bam Flexi Plates came out really well. It worked perfectly. Uh, so I'll clean these up. And so that's it. Um, a little review of these. Uh, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you want to support more reviews like this, please be sure to check me out on Patreon. And have a good day.